What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today, we're diving into Minimax Agent. It's a powerful, full stack, no code AI agent designed for complex, long running tasks. Minimax Agent connects to Superbase, integrates Stripe, and schedules cron jobs. Basically, we're looking at a 24 7 dev team without the overhead. No coding, no tricky prompting. Just subscribe what you want, and Minimax Agent takes care of the rest. Let's check it out together. Of course, the link is going to be in the description as always here. All right, getting started. To try Minimax Agent, just head on over to agent.minimax.io. No installs, no Chrome extensions. It's fully web-based. And once you sign up and sign in, this is going to be the main interface that we're going to be working with today. And all you got to do is type your idea into this box and hit run, and you're going to be off to the races here. Now, before you do that, I recommend having a look Look at the bottom here and scrolling down and having a look at all the cool different applications that have been built with mini max agent here there are a bunch of really cool ideas to check out here one that really caught my attention is this interactive pokedex here let's go ahead and take a look by clicking on view details and once you do that mini max agent is going to go ahead and open up the original prompt that went into this creation here along with the back and forth between mini max agent and the user you're going to see everything going on the back end including all the coding here now i'm just going to come down to the bottom here and fast forward to go to results Let's go ahead and click that. And on the right hand side, you're going to see the final result here. I'm going to go ahead and open this in a new tab. And here is the web based Pokedex here. This is super, super cool stuff. You can go ahead and search in the top here and you can see each of the Pokemon here. You can see the type they are. You can see the number. Let's go ahead and click on Charmander here. And once you do that, you get a bigger picture here of the Pokemon, including the description as well. So this is just a lot of fun here. And so you can really let your imagination imagination run wild with Minimax agent here. Let's come back over to the main page here and scroll up to the top because we are going to jump into things here. All right, for the first use case here, we're going to start off with something super fun. We're going to go with a Spotify style homepage here. So here is my prompt. I want to create a Spotify style music streaming homepage and I want to include a hero banner, top playlist carousel, trending artist section, genre filters and a dark UI. Let's go ahead and click on run. All right, here we go. So I've just entered in my task here and right away, Minimax agent is just gonna go ahead and confirm the plan of action here. It's gonna lay out the project plan and it's gonna lay out the deliverable here. And if we'd like to proceed, we can go ahead and hit proceed. And that is exactly what I've done here. Now let's go ahead and jump to the bottom here. Here we go, Minimax agent has let us know that our Spotify style music streaming homepage is ready to go. Here is the live website here. And it just goes ahead and lets us know the core features here. We're gonna go ahead and check this out by clicking this link, let's do it. All right, here we go. Here's our Spotify style clone webpage here. So right away, it is looking super clean. It is looking extremely similar to the official Spotify style look here. So right away, you can see the main features on the left-hand side, including the home, the search button, and if you scroll down, you can see the various playlists here. Let's just scroll down a little bit here. We have a recently played section here of all the recently played songs. Here's a browse by genre section here. So we can actually click on these and these filter through quite nicely here. So this is all working super well. Let's come back to all here. And there's even a made for you section as well here. We have popular artists, we have charts. This is looking unreal here. Again, this was only made by a simple prompt here. So we even have a mock search bar at the top here. This is looking unreal. Everything you see here came from one simple prompt here. This is amazing, amazing stuff. Let's come back to the homepage here. All right, we are on a roll here. So we're gonna jump into the next application here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my prompt here. I wanna build a one page portfolio site for a freelance video editor. I wanna include a bio section, tools used, past project slider, a pricing table, and a contact form. Let's go ahead and submit 
this here. All right, here we go. Our site has been successfully built and deployed. Here is the link. Let's go ahead and check this out. All right, here is our super clean portfolio website here. So first impressions, this is extremely aesthetic here. I love the coloring here, the color fade from purple to blue here. Really nice background hero image as well going on in the background. Very relevant to what is going on here. And we have some links at the top here. Let's go ahead and click on about. So here we go. We've got an about me section right after the main page here. Let's keep going here. We have a tools and equipment section. So this is all the different tools that I would be using here as this freelancer. So this is really good stuff. We have all the descriptions here as well, even a proficiency bar for each of them. Let's keep it going. Here we go. There's a professional equipment as well. So all the equipment that I'm using here, all the technical specifications. So we have featured projects here next. So just from a credibility standpoint, we have all the different past projects that I would have worked on. So we have corporate brand video, music video production, and we can see all the tools used, the duration, educational documentary, wedding highlight reel, and a feature film editing as well. We've got pricing as well here. So customers can hop on here and and just have an idea of the different pricing here. And it shows what each of the pricing includes. Let's keep this going. We have additional services as well. We can request a quote. And here is a contact form here. So potential customers can come on over here and enter their information here, and they can get in touch with me like that. This is looking unreal for a mock portfolio here. Of course, if I wanted to make any adjustments here, I would just come over here and make the adjustments by entering our request here. But I am very happy with our portfolio site as is. All right, let's jump into the next one here. I wanna go ahead and create a retro game console museum here. Here is my prompt here. So here we go. I want to build a virtual museum showcasing major Nintendo, Sony, and Sega consoles. Since the 1980s, I want to include release dates, key games, console images, all presented in a timeline style layout here. Let's go ahead and hit run. All right, here we go. Our site is built. It's ready to go. Let's go ahead and have a look by clicking the link right here. All right, here is our gaming console museum here. So we're gonna explore the evolution of gaming through four decades of innovation from the 8-bit revolution to modern powerhouses here. So we have the dates here from 83 to 2025, three major manufacturers and 25 plus gaming systems here. Let's scroll down here. Now, right away, we have a filter section here at the top here, but we're gonna come back to this later. Let's check out this gaming timeline here. So we got 26 consoles here. So we can see the first one here in 1985 is the original Nintendo Entertainment System here. And if we scroll through the years, we see the Sega Genesis, we see the Super Nintendo. Let's go ahead and click on this arrow over here. And here we go, we're going through the years here. I'm seeing the Nintendo 64, we got the Game Boy, and we've got the PlayStation as well, the GameCube. Let's go all the way to the end, and I'm seeing the PS5. We got the Nintendo Switch as well. Now, if I go ahead and click on one of these images, let's do that right now. Here we go, we got a full-on descriptive pop-up here. So we see the name of the console, when it was released, how many were sold. We got the historical significance. We got the specs. We got the legendary games and the unique features and innovation here. This is unreal stuff here. And if we scroll down, we just got bigger images of all the consoles here. We can really take a good look at everything. This is looking fantastic. I am super impressed with this. As I said earlier, you can really let your imagination run wild here. If you got a really cool idea, just come on over to Minimax Agent, pop it in and create something super cool. All right, we're gonna do our fourth and final demo here. And I wanna build a stock earnings tracker here. So I want to build something that is finance related here. This is going to be a little bit more professional. We're going to make a stock earnings tracker for US markets here. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and drop my prompt in the box here. I want to build a dashboard that shows upcoming earnings reports for US stocks. I want to include the company name, ticker, earnings, date, and last quarter's revenue and EPS. Let's go ahead and submit this task. Our dashboard has been successfully built and deployed. Let's go ahead and check it out by clicking the link right here. All right, here is our earnings dashboard here. This is gonna allow us to track upcoming US stock earnings reports with real time data. We can see when this was last updated here, July 19th, we've got 25 records. We can refresh the data by clicking right here. And we can see we've got total earnings, we've got 
confirmed reports, sectors covered, next earnings. We can filter through here. And here we go. We've got all the different companies here on the left-hand side and left-hand column here. We've got Microsoft, we've got Amazon, we've got Tesla. We can see the date and time. We've got previous quarter information, estimates, the sector that each company is in here and the status as well. This is crazy, crazy stuff here. Again, all built with one prompt here. And at the bottom here, it's letting us know that data is refreshed automatically every 10 minutes here. This is the kind of dashboard that's gonna be great for finding financial analysts, stock traders, or anyone who tracks earnings. And again, this all came from one sentence, one idea, one line of text, essentially pretty wild stuff here. If at any point you want to check out your previous tasks here, you can come on over to the left hand side and click on this expand button here, and you're going to see all your previous tasks here. So for example, if we want to click on a previous one, this is going to go ahead and open all the back and forth here. We can scroll through here and see all the different logic and the coding that went into this request here. And this, this particular one here was the gaming museum here. So it's all in here ready to go. And if we wanted to make any changes, we could just go ahead and type that in the bottom here. All right. So just some final thoughts here. Now, right now, Minimax agent is free to use. No downloads. You don't got to put in your credit card. Just head over to agent dot minimax dot io and start building bring your ideas if you don't have any ideas just make sure you come to the bottom here and scroll through all these different use cases applications that have been made there are some really good ideas here now whether you're prototyping a tool launching a startup idea or just having fun minimax agent makes it effortless it's like having a full stack dev and designer but powered by ai make sure you check it out have fun and good luck with your creation